it's kind of morning today. When you step outside, you forget it's really late October. It yeah. wasn't sunny, but it wasn't cold or breezy at all. No, you know, the only thing that gets me about this time of the year, and I know I always have some sort of complaint, is the time the sun rises. Yeah, you know, the, the darkness is a problem. I, I slept a little late this morning because it was too dark. Yeah, I feel like with the, before I had a toddler, I didn't notice this as a thing. But now I'm like, why is it like 7 or 3 and it's still dark out? <laughs> but otherwise, uh, yeah, a decent day and it's relatively mildish, as you mentioned, for this time of the year without the sun, which we're not seeing much of. I talked about before, I was hoping for a few more holes in the cloud cover, but uh, they're not happening. So probably not going to get too much, just a brightening of the sky here and there. Radar, not much, just a couple of sprinkles over a rustic county that was well modeled. Otherwise, it has the feeling as though it could rain in a lot of spots, but it isn't doing so. Temperatures, though, upper 50s. And again, without sun, this point in October, this is actually a pretty mild air mass to be under. 60 in Portsmouth, 57 in Portland. And that has partially to do with the fact that a lot of us stayed in the upper 40s to around 50 last night. So we didn't really have much of an overnight low. Stay cloudy through the rest of today. Again, a few breaks here and there of sun. I don't think there's a ton of it, though. Onshore flow gives us another fog bank tonight that gets pretty thick by tomorrow morning. And we've talked about this since Monday, basically. Tomorrow doesn't look very sunny, but it will be relatively mild. So I'm not sure exactly what that's perfect for, but being outside will be fine. There's a scattered shower in the mountains in the afternoon, but as those go downhill, there's not much left of them. Uh, later on in the day, temperatures into the upper 60s in spots to low 70s. Then it gets substantially cooler overnight Saturday into the 30s and 20s. And Sunday is definitely your brighter of the two weekend days. It's not even close. However, look at these temperatures in the middle of the day here, upper 40s to around 50. So it will be much, much cooler. High temperatures tomorrow, 60s, and we could touch 70 in Freiburg, Sanford, and Portsmouth, kind of the usual suspects there. Most of us 60 to 65 for a high. Next week's pattern, it's not my favorite. We get a really deep trough into the central part of the country, and that ends up producing this line of showers that starts Monday afternoon, and then perhaps some heavier rain on Tuesday, just a break on Wednesday with a mixture of a couple of rain and perhaps mountain snow showers. It's just really unsettled and active, at least through the first half of next week. So I don't think it'll be super favorable. And you can see that on the seven day forecast that we kind of throw a bunch of sprinkles in there, uh, including on Wednesday where there could be some high terrain snow involved in that equation. So this weekend is certainly nicer than next week is shaping up to be. And then it's partly sunny on Sunday, right around 50 degrees. But as long as that trough, Pat, is dug in across the middle part of the country, we're probably going to be pretty unsettled. All right. Thank you, Keith.